Next, today we'll be making an adorable ruffle spring deco mesh wreath. What you will need, I have a 16 inch wreath ring with the stems already attached. I will link videos in the description box down below showing you how you can attach your own stems if you choose to do so. This wreath also works well with 14 inch wreath ring and 18 inch wreath ring. So whatever you prefer. I have some 10 inch lavender mesh along with 6 inch mesh. Again, you can make this wreath with all 10 inch mesh or all 6 inch mesh. Just whatever you prefer. And then I have some ribbon. Also scissors and a rotary cutter. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so I have raised all of my stems. I felt like it's just easier to go ahead and raise them prior to starting my wreath because it makes the process that much faster. I have cut my 10 inch mesh into 10 inch long pieces and my 6 inch mesh into 8 inch long pieces. So what I'm going to do is just lie my 10 inch mesh flat. So I'm going to take two pieces of my 10 inch mesh and layer them one on top of the other. And then I'm going to take my 6 inch mesh and layer it on one side and the other on the opposite side. So the 10 inch mesh is layered one on top of the other and then the 6 inch mesh is side by side. And then I'm just going to scrunch, scrunch, scrunch all the way in the center just like that. Take my stem, place my mesh and twist it a couple of times and then tuck it away. And you can kind of adjust and maneuver it but once we get more mesh in place then we can do a little bit more with it. So I'm going to do that again. Two pieces of my 10 inch mesh, one on top of the other and then one piece of my 6 inch mesh to the left and one piece to the right. You can definitely add in more of your 6 inch mesh if you choose to do so. And scrunch, 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 come to the next stem, place my bundle, twist it a couple of times, and then tuck it away. And I'm just alternating which side I have that darker mesh on. And sometimes I even layer them front to back just because it gives it a little more of a flare. Let me show you. So I have like this and then add in my two six inch pieces and then scrunch it in the center just like that so you can kind of see the see the difference all right I'm going to get more bundles placed and then show you what it's looking like So I have all of the mesh on the inner ring. I'm going to go around and add mesh to the outer ring. But it's looking so cute and precious already. I'm just flaring out the mesh. So adorable. Alright, let's continue on the outer ring. Alright, so I have all of my bundles in place. It's looking so cute and precious. I'm just kind of separating and flaring out the layers just to make it even poofier and fluffier. I went with four pieces of mesh in each section and I feel like that makes a pretty decent sized wreath. Two of the 10 inch long pieces and two of the 6 inch long pieces. You can definitely go back around and add in more if you choose to do so. But again, I feel like this makes a pretty decent sized wreath. So cute and precious. To definitely leave it like this. I do that all the time. I feel like it's so cute and simple and it's just so adorable. Or you can add in any additional embellishments. You can add an adorable sign to the center. You can add in ribbon, bows. Whatever you prefer, just have fun with it and make it your own. But it's so cute, simple, and easy to make. Modify the color, the style, add in any additional embellishment you prefer. This, But I have this adorable ribbon. So I'm just going to make a quick bow. And if you want a more detailed video on how I make my quick 
bows. I will link that in the description box down below. Making two little bows and I'm going to layer them one on top of the other. I'm just estimating so and just tie it around the center and make a knot. Cute, quick, simple, easy bow and you are all done. Mm -hmm.